Welcome to WatchCard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is on the Stenago malvertising campaign. In a blog post, researchers from ESET described a new and very stealthy malvertising campaign that's actually been affecting the industry since 2014, but which they've noticed back in October. Now, first of all, I've talked about malvertising before, but if you haven't heard the term, it's a combination of the words malware and advertising. And it's when hackers or cyber criminals use legitimate malvertising networks to actually force fake and fraudulent advertisements that actually redirect victim computers to malicious websites for drive-by download attacks. In any case, what's unique about Stenago, which is really short for steganography, is how evasive and stealthy this particular malvertising campaign is. Usually, malvertising campaigns show up as a legitimate looking ad, but really the ad hides some malicious JavaScript that typically redirects you to a website that leverages some sort of drive-by download attack. However, attack are getting better and better at actually obfuscating or hiding their JavaScript. Without going into all the technical details, Stenago specifically hides its malicious script within some alpha or transparency channels of the picture or banner associated with this particular malicious ad. Long story short, this makes it a lot harder for security researchers and good guys to see this malicious JavaScript or notice it and thus prevent these malicious malvertising ads. On top of that this malvertising campaign is pretty stealthy and evasive. It uses flaws in IE to kind of check your computer to see if it's uh, automated or virtualized, if it's running security processes, or maybe has a sandbox. And basically, if it identifies any sort of security products, it's going to try to not execute so that good guys can't find the particular threat. In either case, there's a lot of interesting technical information about this particular malvertising campaign. If you're one of the technical folks out there, I highly recommend you check out ESET's blog post on it. So how do you protect yourself from these sorts of campaigns? Well, really, I think kill chain defense is having many different layers of defenses that catch different uh, parts of an attack are the best way of, of catching some of these evasive threats. But in this particular case, if this malvertising campaign was successful in forwarding you to a drive-by download site, it actually tried to exploit one of three patched flash vulnerabilities. So one way to protect yourself is simply make sure to update your or patch your software, particularly Flash in this case. On top of that, intrusion prevention or IPS systems like the types that come with WatchGuard's Firebox can often help catch these sorts of exploits like Flash or Java vulnerabilities. In any case, a very interesting story. Be sure to check out the blog post for more uh, technical details. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.